joining us once again from the Dorenfontein campus of the University of Johannesburg. You'll have in the background there uh, the voice of Professor Jeffrey Mahachi, who is the project manager of this uh, uh, 3D, three-dimensional uh, printing, construction printing project that's being launched today by the University of Johannesburg and the Department of Science and Innovation. The minister has been given a walkabout just in terms of getting a sense of what the project is about. I think... So now we need to start moving to the Mati for the next session. session. This, All right, apologies uh, for that block. pause, but uh, so we're just waiting for the minister to come through. Uh, just to give us his sense of what the project is all about. Dr. Nzimande, thank you so much for, your t for giving us the time this morning. I'm, fi I'm fine. Thank you very much for the opportunity and thanks for being here. Thank you. For quite a while, South Africa has been talking about the 4IR revolution and how it can be, its technologies can be put to use just in terms of uh, finding solutions for challenges in the country. You have uh, taken a walk about here. What has been your sense? Well, first of all, I must say I'm hugely impressed by what I'm seeing here. I wasn't believing this, <laughs> you know, as I've been told by my officials in the department and say, what? You print a house, you know? So I'm seeing it today. It's quite real. It looks like also it's something that is very strong, you know, resilient, can be done very quickly. And uh, one of the things, of course, we need today also is climate resilient infrastructure, which is something that is important. So I'm really very impressed and it's important for us as South Africa and the continent, we don't get left behind in terms of modern technologies. Of course, people will ask, but aren't you destroying jobs with this? You know, that's a, a question that comes to mind that one has to answer up front. Indeed, there is a danger of destroying some jobs, but also there is an opportunity to actually create new jobs. And you don't take away also all the jobs on construction. It's just the building of the walls. Yeah. You know, that is all. But as a country, then we will have to... It's better that we have the technology, we know about it, so that we are able to then say within the context of the challenges that we have, how do we deal with this rather than reacting to this? Also, such technology can help in instances of disaster. You know, they can actually, you can actually be able to build alternative housing very quickly. And we are going, by the way, increasingly to be facing, unfortunately, disasters, you know, with climate change. I see Professor Mahola frantically nodding behind you as you're talking, uh, because we all know this is his space, and I imagine that he is excited about this. Prof, you're the outgoing professor, uh, the outgoing vice chancellor, and as you came in into this job, you said that uh, uh, artificial intelligence was going to be a major focus. Are you happy just in terms of your legacy going out? No, no, absolutely. I think uh, I think the University of Johannesburg uh, Minister uh, uh, has actually made very, very good progress. We are now the leading research university in the country. Uh, we are a university of the fourth industrial revolution. And there are many, many things that have happened. Uh, artificial intelligence is a compulsory subject for all our 50,000 students. And I think our students and our graduates are going to be ready to take this country forward and uh, take our economy to a level that is required to deal with the challenges that we face. We have to increase productivity in South Africa and technology is very key to that. Minister, this project speaks to both your areas, higher education uh, with the incorporation of research and the UJ, uh, but also to innovation. Are we putting in all uh, the required uh, checks just in terms of legislation and how we can scale these kind of projects? Absolutely. You know, you may recall, you know, that uh, a few years back, in fact, we appointed a ministerial task team to look at the impact of the fourth industrial revolution on post-school education and training precisely in order then to begin to say that report now we are looking at it because it's beginning to point out at what kind of training we are going to need 
you know, in what, in what speed and in what areas as priority areas so that we have got a higher education system and a post-school education and training system as a whole that actually responds and supports this. We're very lucky that we have someone of Professor Marwala's stature, very committed, you know, to issues of technology and UJ is playing a very important role. So we also use this as we do these kinds of things. Your, your Department of Education and Training to then identify what kinds of skills that we actually need. And it also just shows the role of our universities in both higher education, research, as well as prospects for innovation that actually arises out of our own institutions. You know. Of course, there's many things that uh, uh, 3D printers can produce. In this particular instance, a very important aspect of South Africa's aspirations uh, providing housing. How are you, what conversations are you having with human settlements just in terms of how you can you collaborating going forward? Well, first of all, we are collaborating here, not just with UJ, but with the KZN Department of Human Settlements. And they are actually going to be going just to build a few of these houses as demonstration houses. This can be applied and practically in KZN. Yes, it can be applied practically. And coincidentally, KZN, which also has just suffered from very devastating floods. It couldn't have been a better place to actually test this. So we are in, in, in partnership. I'm also in, 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 in discussion with uh, my counterpart, my colleague, Minister Kubai, who unfortunately could not be here because of other work that she's actually attended to, but she fully supports this. 